Yerp, this part back with another video and just got done watching episode 3 of Black Summer and a lot of things pissed me off in this episode um, but but if you're new to this channel first hit that like button and if you enjoy this movie consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get right into that review so this episode is following our other group of survivors rose spear ryan and some other random white dude um don't know his name doesn't really matter anymore but um they find this elementary school um uh, a, a place to you know uh lay low for the night we run into old boy from the first episode the one that was whistling um kind of random kind of directing them into the building i guess um really 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 interesting stuff like uh this this really gives me some walking dead vibes but also they do some of the dumbest shit in this episode right so they get into the school and the first thing they decide to do with one gun with one person with one gun is to split up now that is rule number one don't ever split up in a situation like that but anyways um spear and the other white guy they end up finding some medical supplies which is very needed um then you know uh you know they find a spot to settle down at and just really uh just rest because i guess I, they've been walking around for hours now looking for a spot that's safe that they could spend the night um so then we so then they get awake uh woken up by footsteps so they know they're not alone they don't know how many people how many footsteps it is um they don't know if it's a you know a zombie or something like that so they go around to search the premises and whatnot to figure out what's going on ryan's dumbass i thought he was going to be smart he find uh, he comes to find out it's a little kid and he wants to go search for him to see if he's okay if he's alone if he's just here with his family or something like that you know um and again they do some dumb shit and this whole episode i'm signing with spear uh with uh, spear because he's like we gotta get out of here and you know rose and ryan are like we can't leave this kid alone i'm like fuck these kids and you know so rose and ryan go off they go into this locker room and they smell something really weird and this is why i say we shouldn't split up because they find out what's in this locker room and ryan takes off running and leaves uh rose behind now rose is kind of like doesn't know where ryan's at and it just turns into a clusterfuck so spear and this other white guy end up uh finding this map they go to this boiler room to figure out uh what's going on here and the one white guy does not make it out and this is why i say you shouldn't split up because it it it, it makes it easier for your enemy to you know get you um so we head over to you know rose trying to find ryan and she stumbles upon this bathroom and she hears crying in the stall come to find out it's a trap and she gets stuck in this room another example why y'all should not like separate like that split up um then we got ryan you know running throughout the halls and he gets stopped by the children of the corn slash lord of the flies kids in this whole entire uh in this building um which he brought upon himself to get captured by these uh these kids and these kids were already set up so i don't know how long they've been doing that for if they've already planned that but like it seems pretty quick i don't know but um spear finds rose in the uh, locked in the bathroom gets her out and now they gotta go look for ryan to see what happened with him and then they 
come across the children of the court slash Lord the Fly's kids um, in this long hallway in this little stare off and they try to come into some agreement to you know let go of Ryan and we'll give you the gun and Spear is already like nah man we're not giving up this gun and Rose being the heroic person that she is the the kind-hearted person that she is she steps in front of that and just uh, i don't know why she did that but they come to an agreement to let go of ryan but ryan can't hear what they're really talking about so the one guy so the one kid wants the gun first before giving over ryan and ryan doesn't know this so ryan kind of starts moving and ends up getting shot in the back and you know he kind of brought on himself you know uh they should have never split up they should have never they should just said fuck them kids or you know just let spirit just like let one off but then risk killing everybody else so it's just like that's a lesson learned right there but that's my episode three review about to go watch episode four like comment subscribe and i'm out I want when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther. I gotta do more than just the average man would do. I gotta set a mark that it can't nobody um, touch. The place that I won't go when I feel as though I, if you got love and you putting out real shit, you can do that. If you kicking that shit from your heart, you can go wherever your heart wants you to go. You have to be diligent about what you want, you have to apply yourself, you have to motivate yourself, and you have to do it for yourself, by yourself, and then you can do things for other people.